Hi, I'm Steve Sandler, the CEO and Managing Director of PicoTest. In this short video today, I'm going to show how to use the PicoTest J2120 with the Bode 100 to measure inductors, including DC bias. So here we have a DC bench power supply set to a low current. We have a current probe, and we have the J2120 line injector. A small current loop is used to, for the current probe, and the current probe connects to channel 1 of the Bode 100. For calibration, we have a small 1 ohm resistor, and one side of the resistor is used to measure the voltage in channel 2 of the Bode 100. After performing a through calibration, we'll end up with flat response, correcting for all of the imperfections in both the current probe and also the line injector. First, from the welcome screen, Choose the Impedance Analysis menu, and then scroll down to find the voltage over current measurement, and start the measurement. With everything connected, let's go ahead and look at the hardware setup. Note that we have to set the termination impedance to match the current probe. Here we're using 50 ohms, and we also need to terminate the voltage probe properly. Here we're using high impedance. With those set, we can now go and perform a calibration. Here I'm using the user calibration, which provides us with the best fidelity, particularly at high frequencies. After performing the through calibration, it'll correct for both scaling and also the frequency response of the measurement. Note that now we have a unity gain display with our 1 ohm resistor, and it's flat even beyond the bandwidth of the J2120. So now that the calibration is complete, we'll remove our 1 ohm calibration resistor and we'll replace it with the inductor that we want to measure. Here, we're using a 22 microhenry chip style inductor and we've placed it into the measurement position. With the inductor now mounted in the test setup, we can see the impedance magnitude, including the DC resistance, the inductive region, the capacitive region, and the self-resonant frequency. We can also turn on a second display that displays inductance directly and note that this display shows about 20 microhenries. With the inductor bias current at 100 milliamps, we have an inductance reported of about 20.5 microhenries. We can go ahead and we can save that to memory and then we can start to increase the bias current. Increasing from 100 milliamps to approximately one amp. Now we can see the inductance will reduce a little bit from 20 microhenries to 20.4. Continuing to increase the bias current up to two amps, now we can start to see the inductance is dropping and also the resonant frequency is increasing. At two amps, the inductance is 17.3 microhenries. With the J2120, we can continue all the way up to five amps and measuring this particular inductor at 5 amps, you can see the inductance has now dropped to approximately 2.2 microhenries, and you can also see the significant shift in the self-resonant frequency as a result. In this short video, we showed you how to measure inductors, including DC bias, using the J2120 line injector and the Bode 100. I hope you'll find this measurement helpful, and I thank you for watching the video.